Hello, this is Mr. Matt. Um, today we're going to be folding paper um, in the Japanese style, which is called origami. Um, and basically, um, origami is folding paper. Um, there's no cutting, there's no tape involved. Um, and this is probably geared more towards older kids just because um, the folding is quite precise and your fine motor skills, you know, I know some younger kids might be able to do it, others are going to be very frustrated. So probably more for older kids. Um, and basically the first thing you need is a square piece of paper. Now you can buy square paper um, at any craft store. Um, origami paper is square. Um, it tends to be kind of expensive, but you can use regular paper. Um, and it doesn't already have to be square, so like this piece of line paper here. Um, so if you fold, you take this corner and you fold over to this edge, right? And then we cut off this bottom part. Oh, do it this way. If we remove that bottom part, I'm not going to cut it right now, but that what's left is square. Of course, this is lined paper, so it has a little, you might not want that, but to any paper that's not square, you can make square. A rectangular piece of paper, you can make square by doing this and then removing that edge. Okay. So I'm going to start with the paper that's already square. So what we're folding today is a flapping crane. I folded a couple smaller ones here. Um, the problem with the smaller ones is when you go to flap, they don't really flap. Well, the smaller the paper is, the harder it is for them to flap. So I got a fairly large piece here. So hopefully it'll flap really well. Um, so the first step is to take this square and make it into a triangle. So we're going to take this point here and connect it to that point there. So now we have this triangle. The next step is we're going to make a smaller triangle. So we're going to take this point and this point and meet them up. Easier if I pick it up. Make that a solid line. So now we have this smaller triangle. Um, so the next step is we're going to lift like this and kind of open these flaps a little bit here. This point is going to come down and meet this point. This is kind of difficult, so you want it to be going like this. This point meets that point, make it nice right in that corner and then go this way and that way. So now you have this little square. Um, so we're going to do the same thing with the other side. So we're going to flip it over, lift this thing up in the air like this. At any point that you don't understand, you can go back in the video and watch it over. Okay, so this point's going to come down here and we're kind of squashing this all down make that happen. Alright, so that meets that. And then I put my finger here and then I flatten out this direction. I didn't do that too well. And I flatten out this direction. Okay, so now we have a smaller square and it has an open end and it has this closed end at the point. Okay, so the next step is we're going to make a kite shape. And the way we do that is, so we have to open end this direction away from us. I don't usually do this upside down, but I'm gonna try. Okay, so, so let's see what I did. Make this come over like this. All right, and then I do the same thing with the other side. So this point is gonna meet this guy here. Okay. okay, so these are like little doors. So 
this kite shape. So we'll do the same thing with the other side. So we flip it over. This is still the open end. And we make this point come to this here in the middle. And then we do the same thing with the other side. This point's going to come meet that guy there. Make that crease. Okay, so now we have this kite shape. Okay, so from the kite, there, if you imagine this as a line on the paper, so this it ultimately flaps, and imagine there's still a line right between these two points, these corners. We're going to bend the paper back this direction and make a crease around, across that imaginary line. So I'm going to lift this up. And while I'm doing that, this is the one of the most difficult steps. So while I'm doing that, I'm sort of folding, reverse folding this crease is going the other direction. But if we make it go this way, we're going to make this, this uh, kind of like a star. It's kind of tricky because the folds up here were going the wrong direction, but if we reverse them so they go, they lay this way, okay, and my folding has not been terrifically precise, so there's a little bit of tweaking I can do there. All right, so good thing about origami is if you don't understand a fold, we're going to do it again. So we flip it over. Open these flaps, remember, imaginary line between these two points, and that's going to be a crease as we fold it back. So as we're lifting that up and folding it back, again, we reverse these folds so they go the other direction. And this is the trickiest part, so you might have to practice this quite a bit to get it right. big piece of paper, it might be easier to do one side than the other. I've done I've done this with very small pieces of paper, so actually the bigger piece of paper is giving me problems. Okay. Alright, so now we have this kind of diamond star shape. Alright, so we still have, this is the open end. These, these are loose. Can't do that up here. This is all together. So the part that's loose, like legs, is going to be the tail and the neck of the crank. So what we do is we open this diamond shape. So we're opening up this end like this, and we're making this point go out like this, and fold it up like that. So again, it's like that reverse fold again. And then we're going to make a crease here. So it looks like that. And do the same thing with the other side. This is a really tricky part of it. So I'm trying to figure out a good way to show you. So open it like this. And as you're folding it back, you want it to come back in. And you kind of have an example with the other side. So you kind of look at the other side and go, okay, do something like this. Okay, so when you finish it, it should look like that. And I always kind of think it looks maybe a little bit like a, maybe a samurai helmet or something. Okay. So now you have a decision. This is where artistic license comes in. So one side can be the head and one side can be the tail. I'm kind of thinking I didn't fold too well on this end, so I'm going to make that the head just because I can disguise that a little bit. So we're gonna squash down like this. And you can you can do that head, uh, you can have it go more this way. Mine always sort of face down like this. Um, all right, so the only thing left to do is the wings. Actually, I kind of did that in reverse, but it doesn't matter. So if you imagine a, a line between here and here, that's where you can fold down the wings. Again, you can make it go further if you want. That's usually how I do it. Um, 
So that's one wing. I flip it over and now I can match this side to that side. Makes it easier. So the same length wings. Okay. So now we have our completed folded crane our crane and its wings flap. So usually I hold somewhere right here, and then if you tug on the tail like this, it makes the wings go up and down. There we go, flapping crane. So this is Saturday Craft Corner. Thank you for being here.